Hello everyone, and welcome to Monster Hunter World. Now, hopefully, this series lasts a while, because I have installed a lot of mods. Not, like, changing the actual gameplay, but new armor sets and weapons, because one of the main gripes whenever the game came out was all the weapons and armors are just like reskins of the same thing on like the DS versions where all of them were over the top and amazing. But we're gonna take a trip to the new world, kill a bunch of monsters, like a lot of innocent lizards, cause the game mostly comprised of lizards. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the New World. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now, and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong. And may the Sapphire Star Light your way. I'm gonna say this now. I kind of think there will be problems. Like, a cutscene might lag and the audio might not mess up. So that's a warning. If you do watch this and you get kind of turned off by that. My computer is not the best, but it's still pretty good. I love the atmosphere. The universe of Monster Hunter is really unique. And I think they did a absolutely fantastic job with this game, despite, like, the only one person can go attack a monster the first time you find it, and then they gotta back out and join. Yo! Did you hear? We're almost there. You ready to grab this new world by the horns? I love how uh, this guy, like, I don't think it's canon, but it absolutely looks like it with how he moves, how he sounds. Like, just how he acts. That he's the newbie ace hunter from, like, Monster Hunter 4. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's how. Hey, aren't you one of the A list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey! Tell us your name! <laughs> I love the cat. Alright, I'm gonna edit it out here. Just the little part with me making my character, so it won't take too much time because I like to take a while to do these things. I will be right back. Okay, so apparently they added new cats, or maybe it's a mod I have, but it's like a little fennec fox. That's fucking cute. Aw, look at his ears. I was gonna go for, like, the normal cat, but... I don't know. Now I'm looking at these fucking cutie-wooties. Okay, so I have finished making my character and my cat. For some reason, it sticks with the helmet on the other character, but I'll make sure to get rid of that. So we have Athena and Cutie, the Fennec Fox-looking cat, because... I took advantage of the new customization options they had. So I made like this, like snow fennec fox looking palico to help us on our journey. So, how about a toast? Looks weird with the helmet. Mainly just because it's not closed, it's always open. And the commission! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where the other ace hunters are at. <laughs> so, tell me. What's your theory? The elder dragons must migrate to the new world for some reason. What the fuck is wrong with her? Whoa! Uh-oh. After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. There's a problem. They oh god. The fifth fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree. Keep it down. Hey, speaking of a-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? <laughs> oh god, she's broken. What's gonna happen to her? 
Oh my fucking god, what is wrong? Oh no. Listen to that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. I did give a warning at the start that I hope that the <laughs> the mods worked. <laughs> oh fuck. You're on the A list, right? Huh. Meow do. <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! You're an abomination is what you are. What's going on? Go on. Get up. Got her face, dude. Zora Magdaros. I like the gauntlets on the armor. No! I'm gonna... I don't know if I should fix it or just leave it like a running joke that she's all fucking stupid. Just like a JPEG image. I'll fix it, like, once we get to a save point. We're on the back of Zora. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, she's normal there. Is she fucked up? Oh. oh. Hey, it's you! Look what happened to the God, you are horrible to look at. If anything, that's a uh, confirmation that the mods are turned on. Uh oh, it's shifting. Oh, don't worry, I'm fo I'm following you, or trying. I forgot that this game, like, breaks your fucking neck. With the camera sometimes. That's an upskirt. I think we gotta jump to the right and get on top of- yeah. I don't even have a weapon on me. Basically a living island handler, don't worry. We're on. I knew it. Look at his majestic beard. Time to hitch a ride and get off this thing. Come on, let's go. Oh Zora, I'll be back really quick. Her messed up face, dude, I swear. I love Zora. He's cool. Basic big Godzilla living volcano island. God, you are horrible to look at. Wow. I'd leave it, but it hurts my eyes. <laughs> Look, it's Aptonoth. Oh, I didn't know you could see Rathian in the opening cutscene. We're just calmly riding Rodan away from Godzilla. Thank God. She died on impact. She had a branch. Don't have to look at her anymore. She brings nothing to the table except food to stuff her face with, and you'll see it throughout the course of the playthrough. 
Assuming it lasts long and assuming it doesn't just break. Because it's already at a wonderful start. I hope I can just back out and like leave it here. Somebody must have set up this camp. Hey, partner, come have a look at this. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. This whole episode, I'm just, I'm just gonna like plaster something on her face. Probably, I wish, I hope. That's gonna hurt my computer so much. Looks like we're right around here. The research. Oh, we can't even go from one to three. It doesn't this open is where yet. Our ship was supposed to dock. We gotta go to the Jaggers and then around. If we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. Can I save it? Oh, you fucking... You dick. I gotta sit here and look at her beautiful facial structure. Hmm. I'm really glad that this game runs as good as it does on my computer. It looks beautiful. Where are those exotic rare birds, bitch? They riding on one of you again? Say they did a uh, tremendous job bringing Monster Hunter oh, to the West. The Research Commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. I don't even have a weapon. Do do do. It's gonna go this way. According to the map. Oh no, to I gotta. To HQ, we need to. I actually have to like follow her. That's right. I'm here. I'm here. These Abdenoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. They really swam across the ocean. Or a Plesioth just grabbed their ass and drug them across the ocean. It looks like we need to go around. It sucks he's not in the game yet, but hey, at least Latrion's coming pretty quick. In just a few days, I think. Hmm. Something's up. The scout flies are gathering. Fuck your plants. You're not allowed to look at flowers. We gotta get a move on. <clears throat> the sooner we get home, the sooner I can put a paper bag over oh, your head. Weird plant. There's one over here too. Come on. I do have a uh, vibrant is. color mod on because usually the game looks like this, where it kind of all molds together. So I put on a filter that makes them all pop I more. I scout flies memorized my scent earlier. If you lose sight of Gross. me, follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Sure. I'll do my best to go the opposite direction. We can push our way through these vines. Now, my computer has a rivalry between fire and smoke got her face. Any fire and smoke usually lags my computer to hell and back. So my main two... Like fears is Teostra and Valhazak. Because, respectively, they are both fire and like smoke all around. Okay, easy there. There's a bunch of banana lizards. Don't pick a fight if you don't have a weapon. We need to hide. Come on, this way. Hurry! Oh, not that one. No, only me alone. Hurry! Hurry up and hide. Ow. Quietly. Leave me alone. I can't wait until I spawn when I get to ride one of them. Let's get going while we still can. You gonna push through this time or am I doing it? Hmm. Oh, she's gonna do it. <clears throat> Let me through, please. Thank you. 
Nothing can stop us. I love the sounds of the scenery as you're running around. I was thinking she was just gonna jump and like <laughs> s just break her ankles. Wait, there's something here. What is this track? I forget what the uh, triceratops looking dudes are called. There's more over there. Oh, that water looks Let's beautiful. Oh, it's a nice pretty blue. Reminds me of... I think it's, I think it's pronounced Satis. Cicadus. I don't remember how it's pronounced. But he's the main boss of the first part of Monster Hunter 3. Or Tri. I, I don't think you... I don't think you want to eat that. Because it's untextured. <laughs> Don't mind me. Y'all, look, it's the guy who dresses like a gimp all the time. This way, hurry. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't hunt monsters Move. anymore. I can't hear you over the size of my massive fucking pecs. I feel like Jaggers get shit on by every other monster in like the Great Forest. Especially this one. Not good. What are you waiting for? Get over here. Go, go. I can't take it seriously because her face is all fucked up. Jump! Hey. You all right? Let's go. Okay. You gotta give it to him, though. Running around with that massive fucking hunk of meat. And that sword on his person. I was talking about the sword first, I swear. I really love that design. It's almost Mother of Pearl, kind of. But all chromatic with, like, full colors of the rainbow. And I used to think out of, like, the two, or the four, uh... Like, sigils in all the corners were gonna be, like, the, uh... The four from, like, Monster Hunter Cross. Wow. Like, there was little hints as to what monsters they were gonna Amazing be, but no. Nah. Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a Stara right here. A Stara. I like it. <laughs> How'd I get a ship all the way up the there? The fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. What about literally everyone else on our boat? Did the boat just roll back off into the ocean? Okay. It might have actually. Take nice need to tape up your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. <laughs> I need to remove your shoulder. <laughs> Pulls out a saw. Had a rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. <sighs> you scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Trust me, she hey, wouldn't blend in. Sorry. Hey, Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? Is the Argosi pilot, pilot that guy here? We've got hunters to do all the exploring. I don't think he shows up just yet. Oh, research. that looks so pretty. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. I, want, I can't wait till I take my helmet off. I'm gonna take my helmet off and put it on her, just so I don't kind of look at her no more.
Welcome to Astera. I'm glad you made it. Somehow I knew you would, though. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I've been pulled in eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things start to settle down. I expect you two there, of course. Your reputations precede you. Guild speaks highly of you as individuals. Think of what you could do as a team. Before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for well, council. Off you go. Off you go. And she's getting on the first ship back to the old world, the disgusting, untextured monster that she is. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. Let's start by looking for your lip syncing, dude. This Damn. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Say, playing on my own's not gonna be that bad if I were to play with another person. It would be a mess, cause we'd have to go back and forth, one Next, would go in Smith. first. It's this way. Do the cutscene back out, then join the other, and it'd just, it'd just be a mess. Say and the commission's fifth fleet, right? Capcom suffers the uh in charge. My grandfather was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me. I'm not I'll, I'll wait till he finishes talking. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Say Capcom suffers from making like bikini armor for women. A bunch of armor in here is like thighs exposed, stomach exposed. Here's our smithy. None of the face masks, like clothes and stuff. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Want to check it out? Yeah. Maybe I can get them to craft a fucking face mask for you. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm not able to look at it. I gotta follow him. Want to get going? Damn boy, you thick. So yeah, of course you are, you fucking gluttonous bitch. Hmm. Over here. I love how this game looks. It's amazing. Yeah, look at that hunk of meat. And that hunk of meat on the stove. <coughs> well, this here is our canteen. Big oven mm. with a cat head. Hey, over there. I wonder if there's some way to edit. She kind of moves like a. They're calling for a council. Come on. She moves like the clothes textures in Chowder do. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. Whoop. Now that guy sitting behind him on the, like, right with the Rathian armor. There's a bunch of fan theories and stuff saying that that's, like, your hunter. Supposed to be your hunter from, like, the very first monster game, the character you played as. They're a fine group. Worthy comrades who will help see the Research Commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Because I think he has, like, the blade that you can't get. He's got the armor that you I don't think you can get that armor in this game because it's the old old Rathian set. Would like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. I love how cute my cat is and how he actually has a face texture. This here is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. Like smooth butter. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. 
altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. We've only been here for almost 20 years, but we can't handle some fucking bananas on legs. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. No. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The Fifth Banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that- Alright. Dismissed. You accidentally cut him off there, on that last little sentence. Mm-hmm. Not even a whole day and you're all ready for your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look into this Jagger's problem, but you'll need a weapon first. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Open. When do I start getting putting endangered animals in here? That's the main question. He's adorable. I think I think got a the Fennec Fox stuff was done so well. I don't even think that's a mod. We've placed some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Yes. I know the tutorial. Mm. What do I want? I, don't, I think they f absolutely like fix switch axe, so we're just gonna go for big Buster Blade. Oh, it's not even like a layered set. It's an actual set. And that is absolutely overpowered. Holy shit. Oh my god, are you serious? It's like two defense to 50. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a that's a wee bit broken, sir. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off. I didn't realize it was gonna be that fucked up. Yes, yeah, he looked like literally wearing nothing. I'm gonna keep the bottom parts on just because it's actual decent armor. Oh, she's so pretty. Wanna get going? Uh, no. Do I have any? Do I have any layered armor or no? I don't think I do. I think this just took me to like the customs. That, yeah. Alright, no, I don't need that. I don't think I have any layered armor sets. Let's see, where's my fucking sword? I remember in a in Monster Hunter uh, 4, like on the DS, I got like a, I think it was like right after the game came out, but I got a DS copy, <laughs> and it had like the max stack allowed of every single item in the game, and I didn't even have to grind. I didn't even have to grind for anything, because it already came with every single item in the game. Am I not able to talk to you? I at least want to look at what you have. My, my, my. Purchase armor. What are you selling? Basically the red version of the Guardian one. 
and it's still broken. Bone blade. I say I'm gonna stick with the Buster Sword, because it's just got more sharpness. I'm gonna be busting some heads together, so. Let's go talk with the handler. Actually, can I save it? Yes, I can. I'm gonna go fix her head, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>